Welcome to Key Tech. Please describe this channel if you are interested in today's video. At a time when global technological competition is becoming increasingly fierce, the technological game between China and the United States has become a key variable affecting the world pattern. Relying on its first mover advantage in areas such as chips, the United States has attempted to curb the rise of China's technology industry through a series of bans and containment measures. However, China did not succumb to pressure. Instead, it used independent innovation as a sharp weapon to continuously make breakthroughs in the field of high-end manufacturing. Among them, the emergence of photonic chips not only refreshed the international top level, but also became China's new trump card to deal with technological containment. Its strategic significance far exceeds that of rare earths, demonstrating China's firm determination and strong strength to be self-reliant in science and technology. For a long time, the United States has used chips as a killer to strangle China's neck. From the cheap license order to accurately strike Samsung, TSMC, and other companies' factories in mainland China, to the layers of blockades on Chinese technology companies such as Huawei, it has tried to hinder the development of China's technology industry by cutting off the cheap supply chain. However, the United States' wishful thinking did not succeed. In a dust-free workshop in Shanghai, a 6-inch thin-film lithium niobate photonic chip wafer quietly rolled off the production line. With its excellent performance of modulation bandwidth exceeding 110 GHz and insertion loss below 3.5 dB, it announced to the world that China has achieved a historic leap in the field of chips. The reason why photonic chips can become China's new trump card to fight back against technological blockades is that they have a technical goal content far exceeding that of rare earths. Although rare earths are an important strategic resource for China and are widely used in many high-tech fields, they are essentially still in the category of resources, and their export restrictions are more based on resource strategy considerations. Photonic chips represent real high-end manufacturing capabilities and are a direct reflection of scientific and technological strength. Traditional electronic chips rely on electronic transmission of data, which is like thousands of troops squeezing on a single plank bridge. Not only does it generate a lot of heat and have a slow speed, but it is also gradually unable to cope with the growing demand for data transmission. Photonic chips use light to carry information, just like building a magnetic levitation track for data achieving a transmission speed close to the speed of light, excellent performance with almost zero heat generation, and bandwidth that crushes electronic transmission. As the core material of photonic chips, thin-film lithium niobate can accurately control the direction of light and maintain strong electro-optical conversion efficiency at the nanometer level. It can be said that, putting the power of an elephant into the body of an ant. Its high technical difficulty and great innovative value are self-evident. The hard work that China's chip industry has acquired during the blockade is a solid foundation for the breakthrough of photonic chips. Faced with the layers of blockades by the United States, Chinese chip companies did not choose to retreat but increased investment in research and development and concentrated their efforts on conquering key core technologies. From the continuous optimization of rare earth refining technology to the increasing maturity of photonic wafer manufacturing technology, from the steady improvement of 28 nanometer chip manufacturing technology to the independent innovation of the Enlightenment AI design system, China's chip industry has achieved breakthroughs and transcendence in every link. These breakthroughs not only reshape the balance of scientific and technological power, 
allowing China to occupy a more advantageous position in the global chip industry competition, but also demonstrated the spirit of independent innovation and courage to climb to the top of Chinese scientific and technological workers. The rise of photonic ships will also profoundly rewrite the chess game of Sino-US scientific and technological competition. In the past, the United States, relying on its leading position in chip technology, has dominated the global science and technology industry chain, forming a technological barrier to latecomers such as China. However, with the breakthrough of China's photonic chip technology, this pattern is quietly changing. China has not only completed a historic turn from following to leading in the field of optoelectronic core components, but is also expected to promote the rapid development of emerging industries such as 5G, artificial intelligence, and big data through the widespread application of photonic chips, and thus take the initiative in global science and technology competition. What is more powerful than resource monopoly is the strategic determination of independent innovation. The breakthrough of photonic chips is a vivid manifestation of China's strategic determination of independent innovation. In today's increasingly fierce scientific and technological competition, China is well aware that only by mastering core technologies can it get rid of the dilemma of being controlled by others and achieve scientific and technological self-reliance. Therefore, China will continue to adhere to the innovation-driven development strategy, increase R&D investment, cultivate innovative talents, promote the transformation of scientific and technological achievements, and allow more trump cards like photonic chips to continue to emerge, injecting strong momentum into the rise of China's science and technology industry. Overall, in response to the U.S. chip ban, China has revealed another trump card, and its strategic significance far exceeds that of rare earths. Looking ahead, China's science and technology industry will surely go further and further on the road of independent innovation. Breakthroughs in high-end manufacturing technologies such as photonic chips will become a powerful weapon for China to fight back against the trade war and deal with technological blockades. China will embrace the world with a more open attitude, move towards the ranks of technological powers with more determined steps, and make greater contributions to the progress of human science and technology.